Hi guys, welcome back to Oboe 101. We have such an exciting video today because this is the first video where we're actually going to be playing notes. Um, if you haven't seen the videos before this, I would go check them out because I go over some pretty important things regarding posture, hand position, um, read care, and even more. So go watch those old videos if you haven't. But for today, what we're going to be focusing on is learning our first three notes, which will be B, A, and G and learning the C major scale, which sounds like a lot, but we're gonna take it step by step. So I have my reed soaking. Let's make sure it plays. It plays. All right, so we're gonna start with our first three notes. And don't worry, the fingerings are very easy. So if you remember from our hand position video, we put our fingers one, two, three, and one, two, three. With our thumb holding the weight and the other thumb by the octave keys. So now that we have our hand position, we're gonna focus on forming the embouchure and making our first note. The first note we're gonna play is B. So the B is just this first finger. So all the other fingers can hover over the keys that they would normally cover. So just this one, cover that tiny little hole there Make our embouchure. That's a B natural. So, put it up again. So when we start the note, what we're gonna do, we're gonna tongue. So, so like a ta, a ta with the very tip of your tongue on the very, very tip of the reed. Okay, so that's B. This is A, which is just the first two fingers on the left hand. B, this is A. A is one note lower, okay? So we're gonna play A now. One more note for our first three notes. So we have B, A, and then we're just gonna put down this third finger. So now all three fingers are put down on the left hand. No pinkies, no thumb, and nothing on the right hand. Just three fingers on the left hand covering all these keys with the holes. Okay, so when we put these notes together, we have B, A, and G. And a lot of beginning oboists and, and beginning band will play hot cross buns. So I'm gonna put sheet music over here and we're gonna try it together. So the first three notes are B, A, and G. So remember B, A, G. And then we repeat that. So we already got a main part of the melody figured out. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna tongue. Ta, 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 B, A, G. So we're gonna go G, 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 A, 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 B, A, G. So let's try the whole thing. And you know, feel free to pause and work this out on your own. One, two, ready, go. We just played hot cross buns. And there are several other melodies that use just those three notes but we are going to move on to a C scale. So C major is an all natural scale. You don't need to worry about key signatures yet, but just know there are no sharps and no flats. So we're just gonna do one octave, so from a C to a C. 
So, this is the C that we're going to try to go to. It's the first finger on the left hand and the first finger on the right hand. And then, of course, hover your other fingers over where they would normally be pressed down. Okay, we're going to work down. So, that's C. Okay, then we're going to go to B and A and G. Because we just learned B, A, and G from Hot Cross Buns. So those are our first four notes of the scale. Going down. Okay, so we have a new note again. So we're going to play an F after the G. So an F is kind of tricky, but we got it, we got it. What we're going to do, we have, like we're fingering a G, and then we're going to place this first um, finger on the right hand, and then the second one on the right hand, and then this key. So the key in between the second and third key on the right hand. So it's going to look like one, two, and three. I'm going to use our third finger to press that. Okay. And that's an F. So let's go from C to F. It's a lot of fingers to put down. But for E, which is the next note down, we're getting so close. For E, you play an F, but lift this little, lift your third finger off of this little extra key right here. So it's just one, two, three, one, two. That's E. And the rest is super easy. So we have. Can you hear we're close to the next C? So from E, place the third finger. So now we have a D. So we have one, two, three, one, two, three. No thumbs, no pinkies. If you're having problems getting that note out, it's probably because you're blowing way too big of an airstream or you have too tight of an embouchure. So relax, relax your like muscles bearing down. Think more about tucking in. And if that note is still not coming out, it could be your reed or it could be your oboe. But just keep working at it. We're going to go from C to D, okay? We have one more note. I know, it's killing you to hear that last note. So now we have the low C. So we're going to finger the D. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then we're going to put this first pinky key down. And this little group of three, it's the one that's closest to you. So, let's try the whole scale. Keep working at it, you're gonna get it. And you can also, once you've mastered that, try going up. Happy practicing and I hope this video is helpful.